What it is, y'all, it's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming at you guys with a really interesting video today, and I want to get your opinion on this, so make sure you guys comment something down below in regard to this. But, I said I'd come back and we'd talk about the collab. So, over on JP right now, these are the most popular units for Don Machi, uh, as far as their war game is concerned. Okay, now, the newer Otaral is still number one. Still number one. Even Vesta's still up there. You got the two Ryus. Um, you even have the newer uh, um, Gareth up here. But all the way down here in the sixth slot is the newer... And I'm going to... That, that's I think that's Toka. Pretty sure that's Toka. It's Kurumi, isn't it? It's 100% Kurumi. I'm going to look it up and I'm going to feel stupid. Anyway, I don't know that series. So... <laughs> This is Damachi, not not Data Live. Though we are having the collab, and I probably should know the difference. But I'm gonna get him backwards no matter what. Y'all, you know how I roll at this point. So <laughs> I want to have a little discussion here. Um, now we already know that Origami is 100% like the Record Buster unit, so she's not really an equation in all of this. Now, with her, and I think that that actually is, um, I'm not even, I'm not even, with old girl down here, <laughs> sitting in slot number six, that kind of leaves me with two, two kind of conclusions here, okay? Conclusion number one, she is new. And as you guys know, newer units really don't tend to show in the popularity polls. You still have like Otaro and the Ryu's and Vesta and all that, who are exceptionally popular on JP. Because the average player has these units. A lot, a lot of people probably have the newer collab units yet, or they haven't integrated them into their new teams, they haven't done team builds. You know, because we're, we're talking here, not necessarily, this isn't just whales. This is every single player. Maybe some people didn't, you know, didn't summon for them, or whatever the case may be. But... I really honestly expected the crossover units to be a little bit higher. And as I said in my initial video, uh, it felt like, at least to me, that some of these collab units were a bit lackluster in that they felt like they were built for like last year's meta. And then they got like minor tiny little tweaks to, to bring them current. But I, I, it, as I said before, I don't think it was quite enough to really uh, save them. And this is kind of what I'm talking about here. Now, I could be completely wrong. And those of you that are playing JP, do correct us in the comments, because that is this is going to be a open discussion video, and the discussion is going to help everybody make this final decision. Now, I will also say, we have one other war game between now, oh, I, think, I think one other war game, we'll have to see what the news uh, entails, but this week should, we should have Record Buster, and then the following week, right before this drops on Global, we should have another war game. So, yeah, I meant that right. So basically, yeah, because we do, we have two weeks from uh, two weeks from Wednesday when this drops. So we should, fingers crossed, have two more weeks, one more war game to kind of take a look at this. But I told you guys I'd come back and we'd talk about the prelim information. Now, once again, to be fair, I think everybody saw Otaro coming a mile away and said that unit's gonna be phenomenal. Now, I for one didn't summon on him and. Honestly, 90% of that is because for my goals in Wargame, you know, the uh, anniversary team, case of point, notice Vesta's still up there, the anniversary team still gets me far enough to make me very happy and get to the Iris Krill I want. You could climb the Jester ranks, but the, the payout just isn't honestly there. So, are there enough people that summoned for her that kind of saw that coming? Or maybe a lot of people got shafted on the banner and didn't pull them or haven't put star bonds in them, want to see how they perform over time. So we still have another war game that we can we can address like this. But right now on JP, she's sitting down here, no other collab units here. Now these are all adventurers. Let's go over here to the assist side. And here's the interesting kind of change. Um I don't see any. Of the collab units. Initially, I was looking at an old girl up there. I can't remember her name, but from the previous collab, she's still sitting at slot two. Has been there for a long time. I don't see any collab units here. Orna's up here, the new Orna, in fact. Um, we've got Seer down here. We've got 
um, Il- uh, Ilya, we've got uh, the um, Hephaestus from the from the, the collab, in fact, uh, that Hestia is still chilling up top. So, in Aphrodite as well. So, a lot of units that we kind of would expect to see. Even I see Talvi back here. I really, really appreciate that. So, a lot of units we would kind of expect to see. But here's the deal, guys. None of the collab assists are here. And I did kind of feel like there was one assist on there that would actually wind up at least in the top 10. Now, we've got, you know, a, uh, we've got a, a tie here for ninth. But nobody from the collab in here. Now, once again, this is my open discussion. So you guys let me know. Do you think these are wrong? Do you, those of you that play JP, do you think this is not representative of the high-level player base? And to be fair, this is just a centerpiece of you know what the average player is seeing. And one thing I do like to do is I like to make content that, tag, that targets the average player. Because the whales are already going to do what whales are going to do. You know, like a lot of these whales, they already talk. They already know what's going on. But the average player is looking for input and in, in, in the impact for their iris spent. Now, I'm not telling you guys don't summon. Because by all means, you at least want the CP from these guys. Um, and if you get them and they wind up being really good, you can always throw star bonds in them. Or you can summon for them later. Whatever the case may be. Um, but... Once they're here, they're gone. Or once they're here, once they're here and gone, they're going to be gone for a very long time if they ever return. So you don't want to get stuck without these units. And by all means, definitely for me, I'm going all in. I'm doing all eight thousand iris, and uh, at least with origami, we already know origami is going to be a murderer when it comes to uh, when it comes to record buster. So there's no question about origami. Like 100, you should probably maximum break her at least if you like record buster and like you know doing those kinds of things but when it comes to the rest of the game as i kind of predicted i don't see a whole lot of stuff going on here and that raises the question do you guys think it's worth or do you think maybe this isn't representative enough do you think we should wait another war game before we personally and i will say i will throw this out there i think we should wait at least another war game before we make a final decision but right now I'm, I'm kind of not surprised, but I also am a little surprised. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to get the top 10 information from uh, the current war game, maybe close to the end because it ends tomorrow, and see where the top ranked units are and see where we go from there. But for now, this is very interesting to me. So let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, we'll be back to talk more about this here soon enough. But for now, like, comment, and share, and I'll catch you guys uh, down in the comments.